it's the experience. It's it's the experience from the call that we get um, to the initial meetup to actually listening to what the client wants. Listening. We have been told that nobody listens to us like you guys have. Uh, we have been told that you make us feel that a property is not just a property. It's yes. uh, the biggest decision of our lives. Yes. It, right. It, it's, it's a place which holds memories for our children. Correct. Um, so we actually, we have been single investors. We have, we are now parents. We are also business investors. Uh, so we are able to understand every aspect of the business with whoever interacts with us. So it's not just a sale. For us, a relationship is more than a sale. Correct, correct. And and you are also selling a brand. I mean, Singapore Luxury Home stands for a brand. How mm -hmm. important is branding in this in this industry? Extremely because, important. Uh, yeah. It's extremely important. I mean, we have 30,000 brokers in the market now. Um, there is possibly that, that it's very difficult to stand out among 30,000 brokers. And a brand is something which is uh, very important because we get called by international media, by international clients based on our brand, based on our presence on social media, based on yes. our presence on Google. So. Our brand has really helped us, but we need to deliver with the brand. So we, we work towards that every day. Correct. So it's not just a product. You are selling branding. It's you are selling also yourself. No, absolutely. Isn't it? Yes. Because people stay with you for the rest of their lives. They do not, a lot of times they do remember the brand, but at the same time, it's you that touch their hearts. Correct. There are people who think, you know, anyone can be a real estate agent nowadays. And there are more popping up, more young people popping up and do you need any qualifications which qualities do you need and do you engage as soon as you have the license immediately with clients you know without having knowledge and experience and then get up well what are these misconceptions so the misconception is real estate brokers don't just open doors yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a lot more that goes beyond it uh i mean um as much as there are more people coming into the real estate market, I think these days there are more qualified individuals actually coming in because the industries have, mm -hmm. the industry standards have gone up. Um, the government runs Thanks by, God. Thanks by, God. Yes. Thank God for us too. Yeah. Uh, the industry is run by a governing body called the Council of Estate Agents. Anybody that wants to come into the industry now will have to do an industry exam and you need to have a minimum of a high school education to be able to apply for this exam. This exam is That's not interesting. It is, um, it is university standard exam. Uh -huh. I know okay. a lot of my peers who are very, very um, brilliant individuals who may not get past the first exam. Yes. And usually still have to sit past the second exam before they come into the industry. Oh. That's Half interesting. Yes. Is that only is that only here in Singapore? At the moment in Singapore, that's yes. right. So because previously there were a lot of errant agents who did not know what they were doing, they were not familiar yes. with information. So the exams are actually very detailed. There are module courses on real estate law. There are module courses on, um, you know, presenting the right spaces to clients because there was a lot of misrepresentation. Uh, yes. Actually. Yes. Yeah. So with that, actually, we get better quality brokers. Yeah. Um, but like your other question, which is uh, once they pass the exam, then do they just go out to the field? Exactly. Unfortunately, that's happening. They still are able to go out to the field. Um, but of course, joining the right brokerages and right teams yeah. will ensure that you get the right um training before you go out to the correct field. which which you are too isn't it yeah, Singapore so team, homes. yeah exactly so there are about 12 of us in my immediate team and my larger team is about 200 of us but That's in my huge. immediate team um we are very particular about the kind of training that you have in terms of knowledge customer yes. service exactly uh, and even you know follow-ups because we don't like the usual 
pesty follow-ups. We yeah. think that people should be given their space and time, um, but we do it very discreetly and we do it very tactfully. So it's it's important that to be a part of our team, we are quite stringent with our criteria.